Okay, so uh, I'm with Ziggy from UK S uh, CSC. Um, are you enjoying yourself, mate? I am enjoying myself. Yeah, yeah. been having a good time. It's nice. been lots of people here this year. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Were you here last year? Yeah, I was here last year as well. We were here for the first one last year. Nice. We were here again for the second year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's busier this year right here, oh, a lot busier. busier, we went here back. Yeah, it's a lot busier this year. It was busy last year, I think, no, like it was It was a fair crowd last year, no one could complain, but this year it's been non-stop, we've been run off our feet, we've given out over, yesterday alone, over 5,000 leaflets alone we give out, oh, so... Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah, of people, a lot of foot traffic coming through, obviously where we're situated as well, it gives a lot of traffic straight through to us, so it's perfect for the UK yeah, CSC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So t tell us your story. Where, like, where, where, where did you come from? You know, where did you come from? What, what uh, made you all want to do it? Well, I'm from Teesside. I worked under the name John Holiday originally as Teesside Cannabis Club. Uh, I also worked under the name Ziggy Mustafa Spliff Fisher, but my real name is Michael Fisher. Right. Uh, set up Teesside Cannabis Club three years ago after the death of my father. So a relatively new thing then. Relatively new, yeah. Uh, started off by myself. We got lucky after six months, seven months of giving out business cards, which I believe I have one with me here. Yeah, plug that, plug that. It's, it's tatty. It's a bit tatty because it's the first one that was ever made. So it's the first it's legal, one ever made. Until it's legal, if you see the police, Warner Brother, Teesside Cannabis Club, yeah. And we put that out and we pissed off three police forces and doing that, giving out 10 kilo of cannabis seeds free. All the cannabis seed we give out goes all the piss attention, off that piss attention. Feed the Birds got some piss attention as well from it. We built up the Feed the Birds brand off the back of the hemp seed that we've given out. Nice. Teesside Cannabis Club continued on its little mission. Doom Police, the Crime Commissioner of Doom Police, approached us and asked us to go through a meeting. And off the back of that, we came to the point of where Doom Police introduced the non prioritisation of cannabis in the right. Durham area, yeah. which takes us to these exciting times that we're currently at now, with five police crime commissioners around the country coming out to back on Old Hog and go on to show basically that cannabis is in fact safer than a lot of us. People are starting to see and we've got people in power who are actually in a position to do, do something and make a difference and make a change. It might not be politicians that are actually doing this, but it's done at a community level. We attacked it at a community level. In the northeast of England, cannabis is very relaxed. How this event is here today, all of our events in Teesside have been for the last three years. All of our events in Durham have been for the last three years. Yeah. Because we've always been liaison with the police. Yeah. We've always been open, up if, front. If you let them know what, what, what yeah. you're doing, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's, it's a yeah. little bit like, I don't know if I say it, but it's a little bit like the sort of rave scene. Sometimes, nowadays, after the thing, it's like, you let them know what you're doing. Yeah, and then exactly. They can, you know I mean? And they're quite happy about it. We think it's always best to be up front. You know, like, yeah, yeah. we have a complete team now. But in the early days, like I said, it was just me. Now we have a full team that works for us, uh, for us. We have a media team. We have a webmaster. We have social media. We have an event organiser. We have a, team, a street team. We have basically a structured team that do everything for us. We have press officers that work with the press to release our statements. So... The club itself and the movement itself pushes forward progressively, working with other clubs around us, like... Doing so a military yeah, operation. Yeah, we've, yeah, yeah. we've gone from be, basically being in disarray in the first year, yeah. to through ha having some kind of influence and some input and working with the authorities, to actually having some say in how our area controls the use of cannabis, right. until the law has changed, where the police can actually save some money, instead of kicking doors in and innocent people getting... Over a couple of pants, which CPS yeah. guidelines says it's we could have. Though, you? Yeah, you know, Major, you know, come on. The no. police know this. Do you think, do you think, scratch to wrap it up, do you think that, uh, or if and when do you think cannabis will be legalised in England? If you'd asked me this a week ago, I would have liked to have said, I don't a week. <laughs> <laughs> but with the current situation and the EU vote in and vote out, I really have no idea where we stand currently. All I know is Teesside Cannabis Club and the UKCAC will not stop until it is legal. That's we want perfect, the right mate. For a market. That's what we want, the right for a regulated market, the right to grow. That's what we want. So Cannabis Social Club should be available and should be around for everybody. I agree, mate. Also, Teesside Cannabis Club are holding the Cannabis Festival. Nice. 5th to the 7th of August. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make sure you come, you'll yeah, enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah, come yeah. and hit us up. If my boss will give me the time off, well, it's yeah. a hard if task, if master. Can, boss man, give him the time off, he deserves it. Give me the time off, Plenty mate. Of exposure. Yeah. I'm working hard here. We made it on Colorado News on our first year, and we're on our third year now, so we might make it well views, you never know. Lovely. I'd yeah. like to wrap up about Ziggy. It's lovely no to meet you, mate. Uh, yeah. yeah. And he might, might even be my cousin. 
We don't know yet. Yeah. We're going to get Jeremy Carl to test us. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Safe, brother. Nice one, man. Take care.